just outside the south door of the Church of the Nativity is a courtyard that leads to a chapel that is rarely visited, the Chapel of the Holy Innocents. Many years ago, an ancient cemetery was discovered under the Church of the Nativity. Archaeologists have determined that this cemetery dates back to the first century. And in that cemetery, they found the remains of both adults and infants. Our story begins in the Gospel of Matthew. King Herod instructed the Magi from Persia to locate the Christ child in Bethlehem, and then to return to Jerusalem and report to himself the exact location of Jesus' whereabouts. It was Herod's plan to kill the Son of God. But the Magi were warned in a dream not to return to Herod, but to travel back to their own country by a different route. This infuriated Herod, and he sent his temple guards to Bethlehem to kill any boys who were two years old and younger. The historical accuracy of the slaughter of these children has been often questioned by critics since no other document from that period makes any reference to such a massacre. But the first century historian Flavius Josephus tells us that Herod was an extremely cruel man, having killed many members of his own family, including several of his sons, wives, and in-laws. Given his bloodthirsty tendencies, and since he was known to kill anyone who would aspire to his own throne, the story of the slaughter of the innocents is therefore entirely characteristic of Herod's chronic paranoia. If you walk down this long hallway, you will see several barred doors. In them you can see the ancient cemetery from which the remains of the deceased were extracted. And at this point we are literally under the Church of the Nativity. As we continue going down, we eventually end up in a room with three small chapels. The chapel on the left has a glass case with a shroud on which is painted the image of Christ lying in his tomb, placed here for contemplative purposes. Now, let's go back to the bottom of the stairs, and we're going to turn to the left into another small chapel. In the back of this room, there are two display cases, and in these cases are the tiny bones of children who were less than two years old, bones that were pulled from this cemetery. So, are we actually looking at the bones of the baby boys of Bethlehem? Before you answer that question, look through the iron-barred windows on the right side of this chapel, and here you will see a room full of bones, a mass grave of the citizens of Bethlehem. While we don't know who all of these people were, we should understand that it was probably not just the little ones who were killed in Herod's rampage, we would expect that their parents would have struggled with the soldiers as they tried to save their infants, and that many would have suffered the same fate at the sword of Herod's murderous temple guards. This means that it's very likely that throughout this mass grave are the bones of the parents who only wanted to protect their children. In one sense, it's almost as if these baby boys were the first martyrs who all died because of Jesus Christ. But as tragic as that moment was, the first thing that you see when you walk into this chapel is this icon. And it gives us the hope that all was not lost. Because illustrated on this painting is the reminder that each of these baby boys was received into heaven, and for no other reason than they were innocent before God. An innocence that can be shared by everyone who loves the Lord with all of their heart until that day when we all fall asleep and each one of us is awakened by an angel song.